Hey guys, Blue here with a badass pack that just landed from Pink Llama. Now I've ran into this guy on Discord and Instagram. I've heard lots of wicked reviews and heard lots of good personal experiences with him. So this is my first time getting a chance to check him out. Dope, nice personal touch. So this is the guy, Pink Llama. And I should mention right now, these guys do have a wicked giveaway going on on the Budview Instagram page. So I think it's Budview CA. You should go check it out because this guy's giving away, I think four quarters of like some crazy flower as well as like a lot of other deadly things. Immediately catching my attention, Sauce House Paint Kush. So I've tried out some of their carts before. This one looks a little different. It's kind of got a crazy tip on here. Okay, but that is gonna be awesome. Okay. So we got the sauce co sorry, Sausos Paint Kush. And the one I've tried before from Sausos was their nine pound hammer. And that thing was fantastic. I still have it actually. It's just been slowly diving into it over the summer. Oh wow, this is gonna take me forever, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna stop struggling there. Anyway, looking forward to that. And then we've got some flowers. Okay, cool pack job. They double back sealed the flower. And actually it wasn't a tight back seal at all. There's a lot of air left in there from what I could see. And we've got a lot of strains to dive into. Okay, so we've got some double bubba. Two honking nugs here. And Eric can already see through the bag that this thing is gonna be greasy. Greasy looking. Let's crack it open. Grab a nug. Wow. Okay, some dark purples. Fully greasy exterior. resin coverage on the outside. You get that little bit of an upskirt shot. I can actually focus this frame. See some nice full trichome heads inside there. Oh mama. Looking forward to this guy. And I can tell this one is sticky as heck because I'm just lightly touching it. Yeah, stick it in my finger there. Oh. Smell on that. Got some cush. Gassiness. Hmm. All right, earthiness. Oh, man, that one has a nose. Okay, deadly. So, double bubba. We've got some Rockstar, triple A plus. Ooh, another couple fat nugs. And again, looking fairly greasy. Now, I don't know if I've ever actually tried Rockstar, to be honest. Um, I've probably smoked it at some point in time, just from like locally, but since I've started reviewing, I really don't think I've come across it. So kind of looking forward to this. Some really nice dense nugs, chunky, nice cure, like sticky, crackly on the outside, but nice and soft in the interior. Let's get a little bit of a close up there. That is looking nice. Ooh. Nice bright greens. Again, pretty darn sticky. Rusty orange pistols. Hmm. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. Maybe again, a little bit of gas. A little bit sharper when I smell the, from the bag. Okay, Rockstar. Again, two honking nugs, no shape to speak of. What do we got here? Gorilla Glue Bomb. Never heard of that, to be honest. Um, definitely had some Gorilla Glue before, but this looks pretty damn caked. Oh. She's looking pretty frosty on the outside. Kind of reminds me of some Mac I had recently. Nice. That's looking caked. And you can see some nice full trichome heads just a quick look at this, kind of looks clear and cloudy. Oh my god, that is coated. Okay, Gorilla Glue Bomb, what are we smelling here? Hmm, cushy, kind of creamy, hmm, a little bit of earthiness. Actually, lots of earthiness, but really nice though. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about what I'm actually smelling there, but another decent looking buds against small to medium sized buds. But again, you see any shaking there? No. Cool. Very nice. Moving on. Got some Fruit Loops. Cool. Oh man, that looks really sweet. Let's 
Grab this nug here. Oh, cool. Man, that looks badass. It's got some like really defined dusty purples. And it's got this funky structure to it. Ooh, let's take a peek. Close your peek in there. Ole. Looking caked. Oh my god. Wow. That looks nuts. And these pistols are just going crazy. They just look so wild. But you can tell this bud just hasn't been squished really. Like really nicely taken care of. And it's got these bright green sugar leaves just hanging out. The whole thing just looks awesome. And the smell on that, uber, uber sweet. Kind of like some cherry notes on it. Oh my God, that is a really wicked nose. And these buds are just cool looking. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the smell, but like, like the best I can say is like sweet cherries, like really sweet cherries. <laughs> okay, let's continue here. Got some Skywalker mediums. Again, probably a strain I haven't tried before, but these look uber, uber dense just from first peak. Nice little chunky, chunky guys. Whoa, that's looking nice. Let's see if we can zoom in there. Oi, oi, oi. Nice darker purples. Bright orange pistols. Forest greens, kind of army greens, I guess. There's kind of like light greens, dark greens. And again, another sticky one. You can just tell. Moving it around my fingers. Really, really dense too. Oh my god, that looks great. That's a good shot. I can stop shaking. Oh my god. Right on, that looks fantastic. Nose on that one. A little gassier again. Kind of similar to that double bubba there. Gassy being the main nose, like diesel. Hmm, earthy. Maybe a bit of sweetness. Okay, now we got some straw, whoop, strawberry banana. And that is looking killer as well. All these buds are looking really nice. If they are small or medium sized, like they're still just like really nice looking. And this one looks pretty dense. So we got a bud here. This is like bright greens, almost looking white with the amount of resin coverage on it. fiery orange pistols just standing out. Another caked looking bud. Got that whitewash appearance just from the amount of coating it's got on here. Oh my. Okay, it smells. Hmm. That one's hard for me, I don't know, like earthy, sweet. Maybe a bit of sourness? Again, my, my nose could be blasted from some of these gassy strains in here. I will get back to you with uh, a better nose once I have these in a jar. Generally find that the smell is much more, well, I'm able to pick it up much more easily. Got some zombie kush. Oh, just one honk and nug here. One monster nug. And this looks beautiful. It's like dark green, almost like blackened looking sugar leaves and tips of the calyxes. Short, rusty orange pistols. And like this thing's hefty. And just to maybe give you a sense of how big this boy is. Hand for reference. And it is, like I said, hefty. So real, real, real dense. Like little to no squish on that guy. Nose on that one is more herbal or peppery, earthy. Yeah, maybe some cush notes. That's a beautiful bud, like holy shit. And the trim on that is just gorgeous. Couple little fan leaves just hanging out down there, but who doesn't want some of those blackened features on the bud, like my god. Really, really nice, and I just smoked some zombie kush, so it'll be nice to compare. And then coming down to the last guy. We've got here, donkey butter. Now I've had this once before from Pacific Bud Boys, and this stuff was stellar. Really, really liked it, like heavy duty indica. 
and they just, I don't know, they just look so freaking caked, and this has this almost very, very similar appearance to it. Very similar. Fat, chunky nugs, super stocky, but like it has this like cloudy resin features on top of some of these dark purple uh, sugar leaves. And it just has a wicked bag appeal. Like there you go, kind of like those that crawling sugar leaf going on there. Bright orange pistols really creamy or milky trichomes that like define the way this thing looks oh god yeah i just love the look of donkey butter i don't know why and that looks bad ass sweet okay and smell on that guy hmm kind of sweet that's kind of all I'm getting. Maybe some like creamy type notes out of it, nutty type smells. Again, my nose might be blasted from some of the other ones. Cool, so we have a lot to go through here. So I will get back to you. So we've got the sauce house, and then we've got a ton of different strains to work our, our way through. Anyway, uh, also, just to mention, threw out some of these element papers, which are definitely one of my favorites freaking burn awesome so deadly as well as some filters which is always wicked again check this guy out thanks again later guys